Now at six, the suspect who's accused of setting fires at the Martin Luther King Jr. Church in Springfield is now set to face the judge tomorrow. This as a new effort to rebuild the destroyed church was announced today. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live in Springfield with more. Audrey. Dushko Volchev was arrested days ago in Pittsfield and tomorrow he'll face a judge on the attempted arson charges. He's accused of trying to set this church on fire three times, once on December 13th and twice on December 15th. He's also a suspect in the December 28th fire that ripped through the building and now it requires rebuilding. It's a sense of relief in that um, prayerfully there won't be another church that is burned. Reverend Dr. Terilyn Curry Avery of the now destroyed Martin Luther King Jr. Church in Springfield speaking out Monday after the Friday arrest of Dushko Volchev, who lives in Maine and has a criminal history in that state. He may be behind bars for the time being, but Avery is left picking up the pieces of the church, destroyed in a December 28th fire in which Volchev is a suspect. The cost to rebuild, still unknown. We're not even allowed in the church yet, so we've not even accessed the damage. To help fund the rebuilding effort, the Council of Churches of Western Mass has announced a GoFundMe with the congregation and community support. Rebuilding is one thing, but replacing the furniture and replacing all those other things is, is another. There was a, a group that reached out to the council that uh, we'll talk more about that is offering churches an opportunity to have some surveillance cameras around your premises. I know it's an old adage, but uh, from these ashes, a phoenix will rise again. Members of the church say until then, they will not be fearful and will continue their prayers. This is just a building. God is in our heart. Now, on our website, there's a link to both the Council of Churches GoFundMe, in addition to the initial fund set up for the church through the Presbytery of Southern New England. Again, you can find both of those at westernmassnews.com. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.